Hi there. Well, if you didn't know, I am a huge Shea Moisture fan. I really like their bar soaps. Well, maybe not all of their bar soaps, but I like the variety. They're always willing to try something different, and uh, some of them are quite good. Anyways, tonight we have a bar that I picked up at Ulta Beauty, paid a little bit more than $5 for, and it is their Purple Rice Water Velvet Skin Bar Soap with Wild Orchard and Sweet Violet Extract. It's an 8-ounce bar, and I will post a picture of the ingredient list at the end of the video. And I do have to say, I like the larger sizes. That's one of the uh, appealing things here. All right, let's remove the uh, wax paper from the uh, soap and take a closer look at the bar itself. Okay, I'm back. I used the soap for four days, and I have to tell you, sadly, it was actually a disappointment. Now, here's what remains of the bar. And, uh, you know, I like the physicality, the larger size of the Shea Moisture Bar Soaps, but uh, the aroma on this one was not pleasing at all. It is a weak scent. Uh, to my nose, it smells like burnt rubber, so I don't think anyone is going to enjoy this aroma at all. Another failing of the bar is that it is a uh, weaker, creamy, foamy lather. But on the plus side, at least, it is slightly moisturizing. It almost seems to me that they took whatever they had laying around, probably threw it in a giant pot, and then decided to call it Velvet Skin. So, uh, kind of low effort, at least. That's my interpretation of this bar. So, not something that I would recommend you buy, unfortunately. Which is too bad, because I do like a lot of Shea Moisture Bar Soaps, and I was hopeful. But, uh, no, hope not satiated. Alright, I want to thank you for joining me, and I will see you next time.